Hello there, today I'm going to show you how to connect the PS2, uh, PS3, Xbox or any other game system that needs the TV output to a computer. You see computers do not have a TV output because they were not meant for that. All you're going to need is really easy to connect. Like I want to play my PS2, I just want to plug in the cables to my computer, my home computer. All you're gonna need is a screwdriver and an old messed up P DVD player, right? First, so if you're gonna throw it, just get the, the TV output and connect, put it into your computer so you can play. All right, first start off by unplugging it and unscrewing all the screwdrivers, all of them. You can start off by taking them all off. I already took all of them, I just left two left. Alright, this is really easy. So you guys could play your PS2, whatever. Alright, this will take you a little moment because the DVD players do have a lot of screws on the bottom, on the side, on the front, on the back. Alright. Right now you want to take the top part off. Alright. You're going to start off by taking the main cable, how to plug, which that is really easy. That is right here. Alright. Now once you got this cable, just move it to the side. Alright, so let's keep on moving. Alright. Now what you're gonna do next is just be careful. You're gonna unplug every little single thing. You want to unplug everything. Let's take this part off. This is like one of the most important parts in a DVD player. So you want to set it aside. And this part. Set it aside and check out what you need. Set it aside. And set the DVD player aside too. Alright, now, then you're just going to put the computer down so you could open it up. So, Now you're gonna unscrew it. I already took, I already unscrewed mine. Take it off. And you're gonna plug the little cable right there. The main VI open switch. There. Then you wanna plug it in here. Alright. gonna get the cable and make sure it's plugged tight you could duct tape it optional and now you're just gonna disconnect it so you could just get the cable you could leave it on top so it could get stuck there but that's optional I guess because this will be popping out
Okay. No, you're just going to put the lid back on. Alright, so hold on. Make sure it's tight. And there you go. Now when you connect it to, uh, when you connect the monitor and not the cables, and you connect the PS2, you're gonna go to computer, and you're gonna find a TV output, a new one. Once you double click on it, a screen will pop out, and that's the PS2 or whatever you're gonna connect. Now you can connect the yellow, the red, and the white. So you could play. Thank you very much. Please subscribe. And well, you could guys could go see my other videos. I have more tutorials. Thank you.